As president, I will end misguided defense policies. First, I'll stop spending $9 billion a month in Iraq. I'm the only major candidate who opposed this war from the beginning. And as president, I will end it. Mission and Iraqi security forces have achieved progress in the security arena. A premature drawdown of our forces would likely have devastating consequences. Second, I will cut tens of billions of dollars in wasteful spending. I will cut investments in unproven missile defense systems. Good morning. We have breaking news out of Iran. That Iran has tested a long-range missile in the Persian Gulf. This obviously has dramatic implications, not only uh, for the Middle East, but also for the entire world. I will not weaponize space. I will slow our development in future combat systems. For a missile test firing 500 miles into space to destroy an orbiting satellite, that test is part of China's efforts to establish a military presence in outer space. I will institute an independent defense priorities board to ensure that the quadrennial defense review is not used to justify unnecessary spending. Third, I will set a goal of a world without nuclear weapons. To seek that goal, I will not develop new nuclear weapons. I will seek a global ban on the production of fissile material. The U.S. at this point is now confirming that this test took place. Uh, they believe it was indeed a test of the nuclear device. And I will negotiate with Russia to take our ICBMs off air trigger alert and to achieve deep cuts in our nuclear arsenal. Russia said it test-fired a new intercontinental ballistic missile. The Russian missile has multiple warheads. Each can hit a separate target, hard for the U.S. to defend against. I don't switch positions or make promises that can't be kept. I don't posture on defense policy. I mean, think about it. Iran, Cuba, Venezuela, these countries are tiny compared to the Soviet Union. They don't pose a serious threat to us. Yes. Iran is a grave threat. It has an illicit nuclear program. It supports terrorism across the regions and militias in Iraq to begin to end this war now. Not tomorrow, not the next day, not six months from now, but now. I have always said, and you, again, you can take a look at the language, that as Commander-in-Chief, I would always reserve the right to do what's best in America's national interests. That when you when you use the phrase refined policies, it did not refer you did not refer to the 16 month timetable. So does that mean you can tell us today that you will not change the 16 month timetable? <laughs> don't tell me words don't matter. seems capable of these days. We like uh, Mr. Obama. We hope that he will win the election. Even ICBM off Sole priority for defense spending will be protecting the American people. Thanks so much.